with Jake Paul and Tommy Fury facing off soon. In today's video, I'll be looking at Jake Paul's top 3 KOs and Tommy Fury's best 3 KOs. We'll compare them and then see who's better. Oh, a jab and a straight right hand and... Not too much to talk about here. A quick flash jab to blind Askren, followed up by a right which Jake used his body weight to really drive into Askren, did the job here. Askren did kind of just stand there and take it, which led to people think the fight was rigged. Personally, I think Askren was just not in shape to fight and couldn't really react quick enough. Let the punches flow. Rush just warning him about punches around the back. Oh, okay. that's another terrific shot. Tommy is definitely quick and that was seen in this fight. He dropped him earlier with a right to the body and again, Tommy constantly applied pressure throughout the first round. When Tommy goes for the final body shot, his opponent covered up and covered his head expecting a headshot. Tommy instead takes the right to the body and it had enough power to drop his opponent. Again, similarly to Jake's opponent, Tommy's opponent here stood there and waited for the shot. At least he covered up, I guess. Here, Jake KOs his opponent on the back foot. His opponent seemingly was just about to launch an attack and Jake quickly responds with a right hook which lands flush on Nate's face. Jake then weaves and allows Nate to fall straight to the floor. Jake's power and speed was used here for a great KO. Again the level of opponent here is not that great. Looking for Binyenda. Big attack from the opening bell and the right hand puts him down. One thing we've seen Tommy do well is pressure his opponents. Tommy runs down his opponents here and keeps on throwing. In this situation his opponent has no option but to pretty much keep his guard up and run. So Tommy keeps on the front foot unloading and as soon as his opponent throws a left jab Tommy sees the opening and throws a power cross which KOs his opponent. Good work from Tommy here. So far whose KOs are more impressive? Tell me what you think in the comments. Also remember to like the video and while you're down there you might as well subscribe. A great KO here. Jake looks down at Tyrone's body. Jake even looks and throws as if he was aiming for the body. Tyrone seeing this lowers his guard slightly. Jake then brings this shot up using the momentum and carrying it forward into this great power shot which knocks out Tyrone Woodley. This shot was definitely not rigged and was a shot which was set up very well. This KO perfectly shows Tommy's power and speed. He sees the opening and immediately goes to the side to move out of his opponent's shot to land a powerful uppercut. His entire body weight shifted nicely into this shot and the speed of the shot means his opponent had little time to react. Tommy immediately follows this with a left hook but by this time his opponent was already out so it was pretty much to seal the deal and if that wasn't enough he follows up with a right hand to the side of his head. His opponent is down and definitely not getting back up after that uppercut. So it seems like a close fight and after analysing their best three knockouts it definitely seems interesting, but I broke down the fight and gave my predictions based on a full review of their skill. Check it out now and subscribe for more.